we go. We're coming to you live from the new command center, K-Pro's new command center, and our new house. This is the K-Pro Cow Pow Wow. Here we go. K-Pro Cow Pow Wow. Okay, everybody, so it is a new setup, and we literally got this set up minutes before we went live. Thanks to K-Pro. I know the lighting's not perfect, but it was a lot dark before, so... Uh, you need to turn it up is what they're saying. Yeah, it's Can you turn it? Well, we got a problem then because everybody's saying it. Low audio, low audio, can't hear low audio. Hang on. Okay, can you guys hear me? Oh, K-Pro is not low. <laughs> My doll is here. Um, you guys can hear me okay. Can you hear Mike okay? Test um, one, two, one, two, everybody. Let me do this. Test one, two, one, two. We can hear K-Pro. Hey, thanks, Greg. We appreciate it. Mike's really low. Well, it'll take some testing, guys. It's all a brand new setup, so your mic is good. It's Mike's is low. All right. Well, it happens. All right. Well, you take it away, K-Bro. <laughs> okay. No, K-Bro is loud, serious. Um, okay. I, you can see I don't have – I'm in a completely different floor than Mike. If we have time tonight um, – oh, too loud. Okay. K-Bro is loud. Um let me go get a head. Should I get a headset one? You down. You're okay. Oh, okay. Um, Mike is okay. So we're going to have to do our best tonight. We'll do some testing tomorrow to make sure Thursday show is <laughs> Capro's back to her loud self. Great. Um, so yeah, I'm upset. I now have my own command center and Mike has his command center and you're not officially moved in until your last box is unpacked. And I'm going to say my last box just got unpacked. So I, Mike still has a few to go because his command center and comic books are all his own. Um, yeah. So you guys, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're, we'll organize this later, but yeah, there's, there's my doll and there's, you know, yeah, I can hear you. You're low, but yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So yeah, you guys are going to hear me more any, anyway. Um, so here's what we're going to do tonight. We are gonna go over what's gonna be happening in the next two weeks in the chase. We are going to be seeing a lot of activity, a lot, a lot, a lot of activity. Um, and um, I need your help. So um, I want you to uh, use the at KPRO when I ask you guys a few questions um, and um, because I need your help on some things that are gonna be happening. So. Um, so let's get up to date where everything is at right now, just with some new information that I think just hit the boards. Um, so May 4th, um, a new lawsuit emerged, and I don't think it hit the boards until yesterday. Um, Kyle Sandu and two other searchers um, filed a motion to um, sue for $10 million, I think for like all of San Lazaro and damages, et cetera, et cetera. And um, they filed for representation for a lawyer. Um, that was denied by the seventh, um, but they have 21 days to amend um, their lawsuit, basically get their attorney is what I'm assuming. I'm not a lawyer, so I haven't talked to any of them about this. Um, so uh, that is new information. So it sounds like there's three different searchers. I've heard Kyle's name before. I hadn't heard the other two searchers. 
Um, so I thought it was past time that you could litigate. So what do I know? Uh, um, but uh, it's about 170 pages long, but the, the pertinent 12, 14, 15 pages are up on Thor if you do want to see it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to level that one. Um, is the audio better now? Is it, it sounds I can like hear you a little bit better. One, two, three. And somebody was right. Phantom power. I did have to turn on. Um, and El just so we don't miss it, Eleanor Belas says, did you see 911 tonight? It was totally a shout out to Forrest Fenn. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Is that Brooklyn 911? I'm not sure what show you mean. We'll have to check that out. Okay, take it away, Jennifer. So Lucky Digger says, what is the basis for the lawsuit? I can't actually figure it out. There is the word fraud in there. I don't understand why they're asking for San Lazaro like all the rights to it. Did that, is that where they think the treasure was? I'm not exactly sure. So um, it's a little bit more legalese or just um, collect, like the people that they named in the lawsuit were Zoe as the representative of the Fenn estate, San Lazaro, William Sather, I don't know who that is, Collected Works Bookstore and Jack. So it's kind of um, perplexing. I don't know, I don't, I, but it looks like, it was filed on the 4th, it was denied, but they do have an opportunity to amend for 21 days. So that'll be on my timeline. And no, I don't have a PowerPoint tonight for the timeline. Um, but it's kind of interesting because that is the day that Shiloh came into our chat and wanted to set the record straight. Had they been served earlier that day? Um, it seems like it was filed with the courts earlier that day. Is that why? Mike is on one, K-Pro is on 10. Test, 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 is that any better? That's one, better for two, me. Three, I can four. hear you now. How about this? I can make that much money in five seconds. Yeah, we can't hear it all. Super chats on everybody. Yeah, can <laughs> we can't well, hear it at all. Of them if you can't hear it. What about that black dude that had all that Cialis? Can, oh, you can hear it. Oh, I thought you could not hear it. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, that is how it's going to be tonight, everybody. So I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Well, I'll keep talking. You guys can turn your, your stuff down, I guess. I don't know. Uh, thumbs up for no PowerPoint. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> okay. So what do we have coming up? Um, it's not ridiculously bad. It's just Mike's is lower, k Uh Yeah, I'm probably in an open room. I'm not. Yeah. Maybe I get on my headset. Yeah, I don't know. I need a headset, but we'll do that next time. Okay. Um, okay, so what do we have coming up? And this is where I need your help, all of you. The next thing that we have, um, K-Pro, are they suing San Lazaro Corp? Um, yeah, that's what the, the front document, it's like they say their names as the plaintiffs and then the defendants um, and their San Lazaro incorporated whatever was as one of the like five people being sued. So, but Collected Works is on there. Jack is on there. William Sather, whoever that is, maybe he's related to that. I don't know. Um, no, JK, we're in the same house. We're in different parts of the house. If we have time at the end of the show, we will go around to the different, um, Mike will show you um, the house. Um, okay, so what we have coming up is, um, is, Dan Barbarossi's book, it drops on the 18th, which is only eight days from now. So um, Dan Barbarossi um, and I have been communicating and he would like to come on the show. He has said, I have already told him, Shiloh said there's some issues with your book. And he's like, I am willing to answer any question you or your um, group has. He wants to do, um, I told him we'd film it um, independently and then we'll show it after. He's like, no chat room's fine with me and I'll, I'll ask questions um, or answer questions. So if you have a question that I'm going to have a, a predetermined list. Um, and so I want to get your questions on that list if you, um, if you have something you just want to ask. So he spent a lot of time with Jack, not face to face. They were on the phone, but he spent a lot of time with Jack. I think he was the only one that um, Jack was really able to communicate with everything that happened during that time. So he's going to have a lot of questions um, or a lot of answers to our questions. Um, so if you have a question, put at KPRO or email me at kpro3 at AOL.com and I will make a laundry list of questions. We want more questions than he has time for. So um, if there's something I have asked him, did he know the final location? And he said he was very clear with Jack, unless he was able to share it, he did not want to know the final location. Um, 
So I think there's some details in the book, but he has a ton more details. If he had hours and hours and hours of discussion um, with uh, Jack, but he only, you know, has a chapter or two. So um, there's going to be a lot more that we need to dive into with him. So if you um, have any questions you want me to ask him, I need a list beforehand. When I did this with Forrest, it was really funny. He said, Forrest said, you only get five minutes with me. And I said, okay. And I had prepared with Cynthia, Mike, and myself, and Toby. And we had a list of like 200 questions. And when the interview didn't go five minutes, but it went to what, three and a half hours, I went through every single question. So I want more questions. I want different facets of questions. How many times have you talked to them? Those sorts of things. Um, but then also you're going to see in Dan's book, this is from I think he started it five, six years ago. He has been interviewing searchers all throughout um, from when he started on this. He did get interviews with Forrest. He did get interviews um, with various searchers. I think a lot of the conjecture of why are certain searchers saying one thing and certain searchers are saying the other things, I think Dan's book might rectify some of that. So, um, why did Jack trust him enough to talk to him about things? Yeah, I like that one. Must listen good. Um, yeah, that's a good question. Hold on. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> no, the doll is the doll is right there. She's doing just fine, <laughs> you guys. Um, okay. So that's May 18th. There's going to be about two weeks it seems of interviews that he's going to be giving. Um, did he ever meet Jack face to face? I think the answer is no, but I think it's better to ask the question um, face to face. Um, yeah, so um, keep them coming. I'm going to jot them down as we're going, but email me as well if you have a particular question. Um, <clears throat> I know he said um, to me, he said the day before, so it would have been December 6th or 7th, um, Jack was talking to him on the phone and said, well, tomorrow my name's going to come out to everybody. Do you want to know my name? <laughs> And he's like, okay, they've been talking for some time. So it was really funny. Um, okay, maybe I'll make the doll go away. Um, it's Annabelle back, right? That's her name, Annabelle? Sure. They know Whatever. the movie reference. Whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about that, Dark. Um, yeah, Messages from Mavericks is going to premiere starting on Wednesday. Um, Dark is also GTC, um, who is also the good Greg. This Greg doesn't suck. He's going to be doing a weekly show. I'm going to come on with him. We're going to be going over messages from the Maverick. They're random stories, kind of like the, the closet stories of Taos. Um, random stories that I have, Indy has, um, that Forrest had given us throughout the years. Um, and it's just like a fun way to, to look back um, on Forrest, meaning so much more than this chase. So um, <laughs> the leg did not move on the doll. The doll is fine. Leave the doll alone. Okay, so that is May 18th. Um, the next, um, big, so keep this in mind, in about eight days, the book's going to drop, then we're going to be able to ask Dan questions um, for, uh, and Amy, I saw on her show, she was also saying that she's getting an interview. So we're going to be able to get many different facets uh, from Dan, which is awesome. Uh, congrats. Oh, go ahead, Mike. Can you hear that or no? How's the sound? Can you hear it? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> it helps to tell me. You're just like, <laughs> okay. I, that's why I'm like, get, 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 get. here, let me drink my wine. Yeah, here, here's congratulations. Thank you, Packer Jack. Here, to me and you, K-Pro, for getting all this done. Majority of it was K-Pro, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I yeah. want, we did not open this. This came from our realtor to say yeah. congratulations because it's virtually impossible to yes, close on a house open. in Vegas right now. All right, so, super chat from Packer Jack. He says, congratulations on championing, championing an always stressful time of a move to a new home that just happened to be timed with a crazy week in Searcherville. And yeah, it has been a very crazy weekend. We were even yep. going to go play poker tonight and said, no, nope, we're just too tired. We can't do it. So, you know, we got to be. Uh, now, I do have to say, though, this is the first move just to change it for a second. This is the first move that we hired somebody um, to do all the heavy stuff. So we did a lot of prep work. It was awful. It took a whole week. But it's so awesome that we're in. And you guys are going to see our house. Mike and I did have some stressful moments, which means. I was snarky. 
I was a little snarky. Um, I was snarky, but I was right on a couple of things. Um, ooh, all these questions are coming in. Keep them coming in, guys. I'm getting all these email alerts. Thank you. Keep keep them coming in. I know, um, Bobby. I know. And I don't know why. So it's fine. And but there's the Facebook group. We'll post some pictures there, guys. And then look what I got for Mother's Day. Look, look, look what I got. I slept until noon. And then the, my kids asked me what I wanted for Mother's Day. And happy Mother's Day to every mother treasure hunter out there. My kids asked me, what do you want for Mother's Day? I said, not to have to cook. So I didn't cook dinner. I got flowers. I didn't even ask for them. And I asked them to write me a note all about their life because I want it 20 years from now. And to help me with every single box. And so we had probably, I don't know, 100 boxes. And we finished the last one. And so you guys are going to see our house in a little bit. Um, what do you mean no pool? There's a pool and there's a jacuzzi. Boom. So you guys will see that. We'll in a show second. that later on. Yeah, we'll yeah. show it. Okay. So May 18th, Dan's book comes out. We're all going to be going, oh my gosh. Um, and then May 22nd, 48 Hours is doing a segment on the Forest Fen Hunt. Toby, that is what Toby has referred to as his last official interview, he thinks, on the Forest Fen Hunt. Dale's in it. Cynthia's in it. We think Sasha's in it. So there's four searchers that we know and love. Yeah, I'm the cool mom. I'm the cool mom. <laughs> um, I have heard, though, it looks like it's going to go a little negative. They're going to talk about the deaths. Um, and that's where their focus is, is like deadly treasure hunt. Um, but we don't know. So just mark your calendars. May 22nd, the 48 hours will be out. Go ahead, Mike. So World Famous Gamer, I'm not ignoring you. We've just been very busy. Basically, World Famous Gamer wants to talk about um, try the wheel and some other messages I think he's found. We've just been busy. It's not don't take it personal. He put, uh, I have a question. Why are people ignoring me just about every time I write? We're not. At least me and K-Pro aren't. We're just busy. We got a super chat from Kevin Harris. And Kevin says, thanks for spending the night hanging with us. Happy Mom's Day to all you special ladies, and congrats on the new home. Thank you, Kevin. Nice. We appreciate that. Nice. And nice. yes, happy Mother's Day to all the ladies. And I would just remind some people that maybe think I'm ignoring them. When I see them in other chats calling me names, maybe I won't be as open to chit-chatting with you when you're here. You can still be here, but maybe you should know that some of us can see others. And when you say something not nice, it doesn't make me feel as good. And I'm all about happiness in this new house. That's what I say to you and you and you and you and you. Okay, let's keep going with this hard hitting content. So we have May 18th, Dan Barbarossi's book comes out. The two weeks following that, we're going to have interviews. And at least two Jubers already have interviews scheduled. So tee up all of your questions. Then May 22nd, just four days later, we have the 48 hours. Then on May 25th is going to be the deadline for the lawsuit. So we have about 15 days until then. So this is kind of going to be an action-packed couple of weeks. So, um, and that's the lawsuit that I discussed on May 4th about um, the $10 million in San Lazaro's um, Kyle Sandu and two other um, searchers. So in general, that is the, um, that's the next two weeks. So that's going to be pretty jam packed. So um, <laughs> the house that Chase Toffoli built, that's right, Copper Dan. And we got your pieces up. We're just not exactly sure the permanent places we're going to put everything, but uh, I I'll will say the saddest part, when you move, something always gets damaged when you move and not one, there's a little scratch in one of the art pieces and there's a dent in the other art piece of Copper Dan's. And it's like the two Copper Dan, two pieces of Copper Dan art was damaged. Nothing else was, the crystal made it. I would have liked everything other damage, but yeah, it's kind of sad, but that's what we have. That's what we have. Thank the Lord for Chaseopoly. <laughs> All right, thanks Copper yeah. Dan. Okay, um, so that's the 18th, the 22nd, the 25th, and we're going to be hearing directly from Dan, so that's the cool part, um, and I, I'm hoping we <laughs> kind of like when Shiloh is in there, we'll go long if he can go uh, longer to answer questions, so again, make sure to email me at kpro3 at aol.com or put questions in here. I want to have many of questions available. Um, okay. Next, because he is in the room, and we've already announced it once, but two different channels for there's Dark and there's GGC. 
Dark is going to be doing a weekly show Wednesdays at 1230. And we're just going to share emails from the Maverick. It's called Messages from the Maverick. And we are just going to share something and then go into um, the story behind it and just kind of talk about the person, of course, then rather than chase related stuff. It's not going to be chase stuff. It's going to be fun stories um, of the of the chase. And then GTC, this is the cool part. Um, for those of you that want to talk stalls, I know so many of you want to come on our show and talk stalls. We're not doing that, but Greg is. He is going to, he's ramped up his old slash new um, channel, GTC. Um, Greg's talks chase at gmail.com. Email him and he's going to give you time. You guys are going to go back and forth and discuss it via Zoom. Then he's going to upload it and let everybody comment on it. I think it sounds like an awesome idea, not one that I would do, but I know how much interest there is in doing something like that. And Greg is super cool because he'll ask different questions about, well, why did you think this? Or it's going to be kind of a back and forth. So if you're interested in getting your solve out, that is going to be the channel to do it. So I hope he's still in here. If not fully, could you please put in the chat both Dark and GTC's channel, if you don't mind. Oh, Scorpion Free House. We did see a scorpion today. It wasn't in the house, though. We did get it. Um, we got bug. We did the bug, like the perimeter. But out in the backyard, there was one. I had to take care of it. It went over the wall. We got a wash behind our house, so there's no neighbors and behind us. Uh, Dan, <laughs> make sure you put your website in the chat. Actually, my mother's watching. There it is, www.copperelements.info. And, Dan, I sent you the link to the uh, benchmark maps. A lot of people want the too far to walk map uh, frame. Just like this one right here, where is it? Oh, I'll show it to you guys. And uh, if you guys, it's right there, but you guys can't see it. I don't have it on the wall yet. So copperelements.info, everybody. Dan is the man when it comes to copper frames. Yep. Okay, um, so here is another one that I, I wanna get your feedback. If you guys remember back in the day, uh, maybe two, three years ago, every animal is all over Mike. Um, uh, flip side, Sean did what was called the weekend update. We now have all of a sudden, we had several tubers out there, but all of a sudden a lot more tubers are here and providing content and all of that. So um, can you explain what it is simply? Oh, okay. So right before I do that, let me explain this. And then Hillary, I'll go back to your question. Um, so I was thinking every Sunday to provide, I was going to partner with Greg on this and provide a weekend update. Um, wanted to see what you guys thought. So basically what I, what we would do, Greg and I, is we would go through all the content um, and all the shows for the week and give you a like five minute show, maybe 10, to say this week, um, Monday, we had Shiloh come into chat when we were discussing a conspiracy theory. On Friday, Susie went over um, uh, Jack's um, uh, video about confirmation bias and we go into each one and it gives you kind of a short summary and it provides a link to everything that's happened that week because it's crazy all of a sudden um there's so much activity and so i got some people that said yes would you guys be interested in that or are you kind of just good kind of maneuvering your way around the different channels yourself um if you say yes or thumbs up thumbs up the video anyway but no if you want to say yes um, I love a, we call it weekend update, you know, what's happened that week previous, um, Greg and I are considering it, but if you don't think that's worth our time, it is, I did it this week just to see how much time there's many hours put in to do that. Um, yeah, the good Greg, the, the good Greg, the, I call him and Greg sniffer Greg, <laughs> he likes to sniff people. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, Greg GTC. So um, that is something for you to think about. Tell me yes in the chat if you'd like that. Uh, talk soup style, please. I don't know what that means. You don't talk, talk soup? Wasn't that Greg Kinnear back in the day? Talk soup? I've never heard of it. I'll have to go look it up. Okay, I just want to remind everybody, Thursday's show, we are going, there's a new treasure hunt about the, where the prize is Bitcoin. It's about $15,000 worth of Bitcoin. He, that guy who created that book, Cracked, is going to be on the show Thursday. So tune yeah. in to the Treasure Hunting Amusement Park this Thursday. Same bat time, same bat channel. Okay. Um, many people have been emailing me and asking me the family meeting, the family explosion, 
And Cynthia's comments about, you know, she, she was glad that Shiloh came on about the BS. I am going to hold off on answering any of those um, for about 10 days. In 10 days, if there's any question about what to believe, I will um, answer that at that time. Right now, it'd only be he said, she said. I am standing by the stuff that I have put out is as honest as I have at the time. When I do think something, I put it out. It doesn't mean it's fact. It's just enough in my mind, I'm gonna put it out. Um, and I believe, um, I believe after Dale came on, he kind of was able to verify a few things. I think in 10 days, there's a lot that's gonna be verified. And some people have asked me the why behind other people saying something different. I can't tell you the why. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Okay. Um, if you were on, if you watched Amy's show, you know that Dale does have some scrapbooks, videos, other things from Forrest. He's trying to figure out if he's going to bring back Down Eatsville's site, if he's going to do it on his own, whatever. I think that would be awesome. So if you guys um, can throw some support to Dale, for Dale to re-engage after all this time is fantastic. Doesn't matter where, doesn't matter how, just to get that um, content out there would be fantastic. Um, Okay, outside. so let's go over a couple more things. Outside Magazine is gonna be doing an article um, as well. Outside Magazine is where Dan Barbarossi had done his article related to Jack. So I think we're gonna see some activity there as well. So we have Outside Magazine, 48 Hours, Dan Barbarossi's book. Um, there are two documentaries that I have been told are green lighted enough that they, I mean, they've been filming for a while, but they are moving ahead. Um, I don't believe, as you know, and I learned the hard way, they don't put anything out until they're close to publication. If they do what I did, where you put a little bit out that people get very frustrated. So they are actual professional new uh, production crews. So it's kind of interesting though, that um, all of this is happening all at the same time. Um, so, okay, last thing that I have, and then we can go to questions from everyone. You can see the house, etc. What do I believe right now? I've put out a lot of sources, or we have, um, on this channel. What do I believe at this point is true, not true, etc.? Because right now, I almost feel, even though I am a searcher, um, I don't. Oh goodness. Okay. So um, that's not to me, that's to Mike. Um, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna tell you what I think. Um, I put out the information, but then I also have my own opinion. So I put out a lot of information or we did. So yeah, house to our rooster, you'll see that in just a second. Um, I believe 100% the Department of Interior land that Michael quoted um, that Forrest slipped up and said during a lunch with a searcher, I 100% believe that. I believe now, and I would not have said this before, the treasure chest was absolutely on Department of Interior land. Um, Packer Jack, a hard hitting question. You said you're going to do the GTS new show weekly, but he said he's going to entertain all solves, even in Wyoming. Are you Outside really that. going to do non-Wyoming solves? Okay, so let me clarify Packer Jack. GTC on GTC's channel is gonna be doing the solves. I don't have anything to do with that because God knows I don't want anything to do with that. I wasn't asked, nor would I. On the Dark channel, he is discussing many, many, many things. One of the things he wanted and we kind of brainstormed on is messages from the Maverick. And those are going to be emails that I have from Forrest or stories I have from Forrest. Indy will chime in with her stories and emails as well. And then to the larger community, eventually, if this kind of is something that people want to see. Kind of like my story about hot rooms. He loved a hot room. So random, so silly. He gave me advice, relationship advice. So I can see that coming up. That is what um, Dark and I are going to do. GTC's channel about solves, you need to ask him. I don't know what he's doing. And quite honestly, I wouldn't be watching it too much because that's not where I'm focusing right now. Okay. All right. We got to do a couple thank yous. Can you guys okay. hear me better at all or no? Let me try that. Uh, does that weigh too loud, K-Pro? No. Okay. See, it's loud for me. I just don't know if it's loud for you. No. But we got to do a couple... 
uh, thank yous. And the first one is to Patrick. Patrick's the searcher here in Vegas. I met him like two years ago because he bought a book. I think it was, you know, what too far to walk. He showed up and helped us move. You know, I put out the all call on Facebook and Capro did saying, hey, if anybody wants to help. And Patrick showed up. So thanks, Patrick. We're definitely going to take you out for a night of dinner and poker soon. Um, I also got to thank Roxanne and her daughter, uh, Nina, because she sent me this. It's a little late, but it was for my birthday. And her daughter, Nina, painted this. And anybody in the Dungeons and Dragons world knows what this is from, the starter box. So awesome uh, painting from NP right there, uh, Nina. So thanks. Reminds me of my Dungeons and Dragons days. So that's going to go right here on the command center. And um, also, we want to say a big thank you to Fenny Bones, because him and his wife were out here. And we had dinner yeah. with them about a week ago, I think. So it was awesome to see Fenny Bones. We told him, bring Fenny Bones back. Do another video. Yeah. So, it's close. Must listen good. I'll, and uh, Sorry about the audio issues, everybody. I, I will get it fixed before the next time we go live. Uh, yeah. For sure. So, well, the, literally the command center two hours ago was not together at all. I mean, the, the desk was, but nothing else. Um, okay. So let me go over kind of what I believe right now with the stuff that's happened the last two weeks. So Department of Interior Land, I 100% believe now, and I think it almost got washed out because of all the other activity that was happening. Um, I 100% now, now believe that Department of Interior Land is absolutely where the treasure chest was found um, if, and found in Wyoming. If it's found in Wyoming, the, I, I believe the source is um, more reputable than Jack. So I do believe Shannon knows the location with all the shenanigans that happened and all the things that happened related to uh, Odia Soul and the slips and the live video and all that, I 100% believe that Shannon has a 10 mile rectangle area. I do not believe it was Slough Creek. I don't believe the search partner knows anything more um, than the rest of us do other than where he searched. Um, I just don't believe anything, um, anything more than just Shannon knows the location and had that email from Jack from 2018. Um, some people are asking me about the GPS. The GPS solve, I haven't ruled it out completely, but source turd is a turd. What do you think, Mike? I think until we know the real location, I think the GPS solve is still in play. That's what I think. Yeah, and, but I do think medicine wheel is a possibility because the GPS solve also does take you, if you use certain rules in certain ways, does take you to medicine wheel. That would make sense to me why it could be damaged if it's something like the medicine wheel. That would make a lot more sense than right now. It just doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, he's not my favorite person. I just saw some stuff he said and I, when you get caught in a lie, just man up and say, hey, I got caught in a lie. You don't have to go personal and mean and all that. Um, so yeah, that's why I call him turd. That's the worst I could come up with. Um, the source that said um, to Mike, nothing is what it seems when he was going to pay Mike a bet, and that's what Forrest responded to, I do believe that as well, um, which is interesting. I absolutely believe it was Shiloh, without a doubt. Shiloh was in our chat room last week. Um, and I know right now several people are boots on the ground trying to put some things together. And I believe the Saul will be known without Jack confirming it um, within the next, I'd say week, or I'm sorry, not week, year, <laughs> in the next year. Um, those are the things that I believe, but if you guys have a question, um, let me know. King Catcher says, you will be surprised. Nothing surprises me anymore and everything surprises me. I know we're on a crazy roller coaster. Um, I was talking to one of the producers um, because I am going to go one particular way with a producer I've been talking to that I really trust. And you can't invent what's happening right now in this chase. This chase is, you don't have to make it up because at every turn, something different is happening that you would have never expected. Um, did Dan talk to Jack or only text an email? I know he did talk to him because he told me uh, he did on the phone, but I want to ask about talk, text. They only, they live so close to each other. I'm going to ask about um, location. Did they ever meet up? Uh, where in the world is Mike? I don't know. He just goes rogue sometimes. That's what Mike does. 
Mike, what, what are you doing? to get the house set up if we're going to show it. Here, let me try and switch microphones real quick. Now, let me ask you guys. He is lagging for me. Is he lagging for you? It's like it's going. Uh, d -d 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 -d. He's on Wi-Fi, which he wasn't able to get hardwired in because of the location of the cable box. So um, shh, Mike's back. Is he lagging a little bit to you guys? Does that sound any better? One, two, three, four. Sound the same to you, Capro? Sounds the same to me. Yeah, I'm thinking this Wi-Fi thing is not going to work, but we'll have to come up with something else. So right. We can get that whatever it's out. called, the pod or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Or we're going to drill a hole through the ceiling is what we're going to do. But we'll see. We'll figure it out. Huh. <laughs> I'll make um, it look right. Can you guys I hear me any better? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. I'll figure it out by the next time. He isn't lagging. Okay, you're only lagging today a little bit on Zoom, which is kind of funny. But it's not better. That's what Ronnie Lee says. Not better. So we'll figure it out definitely by Thursday because we have, um, yeah, and in the middle of this kind of crazy Fen time, and we are going to go live at different times. Um, it's going to be, uh, we have two originators that want to come on, right, Mike? You have the cracked guy with the Bitcoins, and then you have the, well, I don't want to say it if you haven't lined it up yet. There was oh, that other one. Right. Um, yeah, actually, it's breaking news, everybody. Can you hear that? <laughs> Can anybody hear that, or is it too low? Uh, Bart K from The Hunt for History, he's actually going to come on the show. It'll be a future show, and it'll let you know. But uh, yeah, that'll be awesome as well to talk to Bart. Um, King Catcher says, I hope it will not be revealed. Everyone deserves a chance to solve it. Here's the problem. The only way to solve it, since there's no confirmation, is a treasure box at the end. There's no treasure box. There's nothing there. So there's no way to confirm it. So I don't know. That's just my, that's just my two cents. But they're not even worth that because it's just my opinion. So um, yeah, so Mike is um, spooling up the rest of the amusement park. I am still fixed on um, the ride that has shut down, but it really hasn't. We're in like phase two. Um, so um, there is a student group out there that's doing another documentary. It's kind of the, and they're doing a GoFundMe to kind of see if they can make it a full film. I know there's a lot of other documentarians. There's two kind of bigger ones that are going big, like um, Netflix, HBO, et cetera. And then there's some that are just doing their, um, you know, independent festivals and things. So, um, okay, even the breaking news was lagging. Okay, Mike can figure all that out. Um, so Dan caught Jack's mistake on the medium and figured out how to contact him. Jack didn't know how medium worked. I think Jack knew how it worked, but whatever Dan said, and I would like to know, what did Dan say? The thing that Dan found out, um, okay. Um, Dan knew that if you flag something as an error, it would contact the original article writer. No, no other contact information was given. So he flagged it and in the description put something that caught Jack's attention enough that Jack contacted him. Here's something interesting though. This is my new conspiracy theory that's just out there in my mind. Um, the, so here is something interesting. Shiloh would not get on the call. Even though he called me, once I was on the show, he would not get on a call. Jack will not have his voice revealed either and only is in the written, just like Shiloh is only in written in written form on communicating about the chase. Is that a requirement of Forrest? Is that, or a requirement, is there an NDA? Is there a reason now that both of them will not um, have their voice confirming anything? Is there a different level of legal something or other if their voice says something and that could be used? Is that a legal strategy? Is that just a crazy conspiracy theory of mine? maybe to all of that but i just put that out after we went on air that shiloh would not get on jack will not have his voice in any of the interviews he's doing everything through dan dan from what i here's a question hey dan i heard you signed with a documentary is that true he's exclusive with someone is what i heard through the rumor mill through the grapevine i want to see if that's true um so uh, also, he never sent a selfie, and Jack has never sent a selfie either. 
Bobby says. Selfie of like the of the chest. Like, yeah, I'd be like with the chest right there going, hey. Right, yeah. I don't know. Unfortunately, he types them. I don't know what that um Okay, so that is all the updates that I have because we are gearing up. We are eight days away from Dan's book, which we all need to read quickly because interviews are gonna be happening. We need to ask him questions all through the years, including he did have interviews with Forrest. And then we'll see if the new lawsuit's gonna go anywhere. I do wanna talk to a couple of attorneys. I thought the statute of limitations had passed, but I guess not. Um, maybe Shiloh wouldn't answer because he was watching and posting from his phone and it would be difficult. Mary Bob, that's true. But um, I know off air, that was the same philosophy. When he was no longer in a chat room, he would not have that voice confirmation. Why? Why? I don't know. So, um, okay. <laughs> Do we want to do the tour of the house? Yeah, because of the audio issue. Let's just do the tour. It's going to take me a minute to set it up. And okay. I don't know if well, I can hear you. I'm going to chit chat along. Congrats on the house and good luck with the interview. Yeah, it should be fun. Um, I just think it's um, good information. Um, more than, you know, we've had, we had such a desert and drought for so long with all the silence. Jack, a selfie with the chest and Shiloh, a selfie with Willie. Oh, okay, Dan, I see what you're saying, Bobby. Um, yeah, that's interesting. You're right. Huh, I don't get know. A super chat from Fergus T. Longacre, Longacre with the $15 super chat says, congrats on the new house and good luck with the Dan B interview. Yeah, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for the Dan Barbarossi interview. I think I said that right. That's going to be a good one coming up soon. If anybody could hear me at all. I can hear it. Um, also, why did the background of Peggy's picture get photoshopped out? The one where she's wearing the old bathing suit. Bobby, I don't know what you mean, Bobby Roos. Um, hmm. I don't know but it wasn't directed to me. Um, that was him. He also has a lot of ghosts or aliases. Maybe. Um, I can tell you as administrator on my site, I can see emails and things. You would be surprised who is on the site, maybe in um, different aliases and things. But I, Jack with his Jack8767 is not on Thor. Um, I, I've never checked for Shiloh. I do know who's who and like, all the shenanigans that go on on Thor, there's lots of people that are multiple users. It's just how, you know, it's hard to, because some people say, no, that's my wife or my roommate or any of that. I don't know what makes to me. Okay, Mike is connecting. So I thought he was telling me he should. Um, yeah, thanks guys for the congrats on the new house. This is, oh, Indiana Jones with the super chat. The November 19 interview, Forrest said the man who found the wreckage of Forrest Jet had to hack his way through the jungle. Hack, hacking. Oh, maybe somebody was hacked. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Indiana Jones. Yes, thank you. Um, I, I don't know. I truly believe this is the other thing. I, I believe there's more to this than we're catching on to or understanding um, at this point. And I think it's going to come out. There's too many people talking. Jack is still talking to lots of people. Um, there we go. Can you guys see that okay? Yes. All right. I'm not going to be able to hear you, but I'll go around the house and you can just talk and moderate it. Okay, bro. <laughs> okay. I'll come up with you. Go All slow. Right. Go All slow. Right. All right. Let's see if this works, everybody. Let me try okay. this. So <laughs> Mike is good. we're going to see if this works. Uh, um, let's see. You can't hear me. No, not really. I mean, a little bit, but. Not really. Okay, so there's Mike's wine glass. Here's the command center that you guys know, you guys love. Um, there's all of his Hardy Boy collection books. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got him these, um, I don't remember. Um, yeah, and and this will be filled. He still hasn't got everything done. That was from, that was a wedding gift from um, Minotaur Marino. Um, yeah. So his comic books are there. Those got <laughs> brought over a special, um, but you wonder about the command center. There's the command center. Um, and there's Copper Dan Art. He's in charge of getting everything up on the walls. Um, so you'll see lots of stuff on the ground. 
there's the puppy dogs, yeah, and the kitty cats. So that goes to the backyard with the pool and spa, but they are kind of anchored in. There's puppy dog, other puppy dog that follows them everywhere. Okay, so now we're in the TV room. Okay, he's letting the dog in. We kind of have them partitioned off. Um, so that's the TV area. There is a chimney, but we don't really care about that. But that's kind of our main area. This is the kitchen. We have an island coming. Um, it'll be delivered sometime next week. So you'll see an island in here, but awesome. Okay, so <laughs> where is he going? Uh, oh, he wants to go back to the backyard. There is the pool. There is the spa. We will be living back there. Um, <laughs> Oh, Texas Jane says, I have the same collection. I don't know if you meant Hardy Boys or the, the other one. Um, okay, so this is the front room where you first come in. So that's the front door. Um, so it's just like a little sitting area. Yeah, it is, you know, Calazar's house. Um, our Calazar's house. There's some Copper Dan art that looks so lovely. We need to get it positioned just right. That is the poker table. Thank you, Justin Posey. Um, he, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be setting that up. We got a cover for it. We didn't want the cats to destroy it. So um, that came in today. So we're gonna be setting this up tomorrow. Um, this is the guest bedroom. We call it Mama Calazar's room because we want her out here for good, but anytime she visits. Um, so this is the downstairs and that's the downstairs bathroom. That's where everybody changes. That's all the the pool bathing suits on the floor. Here's the laundry room. You could tell he's not too excited about that, but back to the kitchen. Um, I love the amount of cabinet space. I will tell you, I love it, love it, love it. There's the puppy dog but, and kitty cats and everybody. So, uh-oh, here he comes. He's coming to see me. He's going up the stairs. So two-story home, All of the rest of the bedrooms are all upstairs. Let's see, he's going to the kid's room now. So the first one is Eric and Chris's room, the boys as we know them. Um, we did get them bunk beds. We're going to have to get them mattresses, but they have enough for two gaming stations um, for them. And then we have David Depro. There he is. He has a room. He is set up with a gaming center as well. Oh, he's he turns... 12 tomorrow, my baby turns 12. Uh, he didn't go into Sammy's room, Sammy's is there. Here he comes, he comes. This is the largest master ever. <laughs> Hi everybody. <laughs> so you can see where we're set up. Um, so <laughs> that's the, um, yeah, the oh, game that keeps the animals out. Oh, my cows are Nice. Yeah, the animals keep uh, are kind of confined to one space. The girl is getting a little bit older. Go that way. That's the there's look at the treasure hunting bookshelf, yeah. but that's the other half of it. Um, yeah, so that it's a it's a double master. Um, so there's the master bedroom, but then there is a sitting area. This will be my command center. Um, yeah, happy birthday early, David. So that is the area that. Yeah, so we got to get all this organized. Um, yeah, there we are. <laughs> Digging the new casa. Congrats. All the D&D stuff, you name it, it's all up there. It's not organized. I just want everything out of boxes. So we have coins, we have treasure hunting stuff, we have books, you name it. We have it. Don't go too far. Nope. Good. Yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah. Okay. And then what about the, ma the master? Look, we have to do a shout out to Janet. Oh, Mama Kalazar is in the room. You can't see the pool through the window with the reflection. Okay. Do I need to go back out there? I think you did. All right. And there, uh, oh, there's one shot. But there. there we go. We can get it from up here. Yeah, there it is. Yes. I can go out there drawing. Yeah, Golden. No, Golden Owl said my fur baby would just jump over that couch. Yeah, the little one does, but not um, the bigger one. And that's the one that's getting really, really um, old and. And so if you look in the, the tongue, that's a shout out to Jan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. So she, she got us something off of our registry. So oh, here's the, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. yeah, so there's the bath caddy. Thank you to Jana who got us a little bath caddy. And that is, it's just the bathroom, but it's ours. Um, yeah, so kind of cool. 
This is this is the our house of cheese on Belleville. The house of cheese on Belleville, and we have his and her closets, which is good. So we don't overlap as much as we can. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. Now it's now it's just frozen up with me sitting there. So go back down to the command center. Oh, because I was sharing my screen. It should come back, does it? Yes. Now it's come back. Okay. So yeah, it's a pretty nice backyard because it has a heated pool and heated jacuzzi. And there he is, guys. King of the castle. King of the castle. Yeah. Mike and I feel really, really blessed right now. I think um, I've already shared my story. Mike doesn't get emotional too often, but um, this is kind of the time that we went, okay, now we have stability. Now we have a home. We have a nice home that, and it's in one of the best school areas for kiddos that are going into high school and <laughs> yeah she saw it's kind of funny because we say that because it really didn't but that's okay you guys are all here through our journey closets what are those for I just use the floor Carrie Galloway um, Mike is actually a neat freak and I like that because I am too I'm actually one that um, isn't as great about I'll just drop stuff along the way um, but we're all kind of on the same page about about how we want our house to be Show me that picture of me again. Oh, oh my dear, look at all the back up. <laughs> Mama says. So, um, yeah. So we appreciate all of you. Yes, we will have a pool party. Um, we will have searcher parties. <laughs> Road um, series of fan, maybe. You never know. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. The house, the Copper Dan Super Chats built. Yeah, and he, you guys definitely keep us going with um, I mean, the, I, I will say the YouTube channel makes a little bit now that it's what year five. It makes uh, we're not in the in the red anymore. So, but first time a command center goes out, first time lighting goes out, you know. But it's right on the cusp. I mean, it's, I may need a new soundboard. You never know. No, don't think so. <laughs> so actually, we just uh, we couldn't be happier. We just Mike said to me today, "I love you so much. I've never been so happy." And I was like. Oh, like he says it like just matter of fact and I'm like oh you melt my heart so anyway I feel very blessed and very happy and this is the house that Chase off the so that is the new house uh when Mike showed the pool I saw a looking glass swimming in it I saw a looking glass swimming in it okay I don't know what that means back our barbecue uh just look at the quick response to the super chat oh shoot I'm sorry, we did get a super chat while you were gone. Um, so Occam's Razor, Dow's comments about Forrest Finn talking to him about the ending, the family meeting, pandemic, Forrest Finn's health, lead searcher, did Forrest end it? So I'm not gonna say for sure because I don't know for sure. I believe that's a lot of coincidences. The family meeting, um, in 10 days, I think we will have confirmed that um, there was a family meeting. Um, I believe we will have confirmed that there was an explosion at, fam at Forest Home the day that the treasure chest was announced to be found. Add in Forest Health, we have some searchers that have said that they have confirmed that with Forrest that he was ill. Um, there sure is a lot of coincidences. So I said I was 65 with recent events. I go back and forth. Could it have just been that Jack found it? Then why is he doing what he's doing? He's not coming out at all, but he's emailing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. Why is he doing it the way he's doing it? It doesn't make sense to me. When something doesn't make sense, there's usually a logical pattern. I'm like Judge Judy. If it doesn't make sense, it's usually a lie. I'm not going to say lie because that would be intentional. But like the family explosion or the explosion on June 6th, that's how it was characterized to me. I know some people are saying different now, but I know what I was told. I know what I emailed Forrest. I know it's going to come out soon that that is how it was characterized. I am perplexed by the people that are saying things different and I, I haven't rectified it in my mind. 
like when Shiloh was in, it was like, I just said it. So this shouldn't, it should be done. There wasn't any of, there wasn't a family meeting. There wasn't this, there wasn't that. I'm trying to figure out how all of it can be true rather than someone lying. Cause I hate to say someone's lying. Cause I always try to keep them in a positive light, but uh, yeah, go ahead. Randy says he's being advised. That's an, that's an interesting, uh, in other words, Jack's kind of being told what to do. He's being advised. That's kind of interesting. We did get a super chat from Ben Napple, $24.99. It says another free blackjack bet. I don't know when we're going to make it to the casino. We should Ooh. actually film that. We should do 25 bucks on one hand to blackjack and just see what happens. You I know mean. what? But yeah. And say this Napple, is for Ben. Boom. This is for Ben. Oh, for this Ben. Is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Everybody. Debbie said this is a great house. Yeah. Like, we can't believe we actually got it and it worked out. And I do have to say, um, my daughter is really, really sassy sometimes. And she'll say, Mike, Capro just loves you before the veteran benefits. Oh my God, you got to buy a house with a veteran. It saved us, what, $25,000 or $50,000 or something. It is incredible. Less of a down payment. Yeah, less of a down payment. Yeah. I mean, it is incredible. The difference. So, so I not only love Mike for Mike and Chase Opley, but he's a veteran. He, you know, any veteran, I think in general should be given a lot, but man, what a difference. It was awesome. And that's what made this house happen. And mama Calazar's, she is, it's like, I have a mom again. So I mean, just, and shout out to mama Calazar's who is the best mother on this earth. Happy Mother's Day, even though I talked to you yesterday, I wanted to do a shout out. Um, read the super chat since they can't hear me. Okay, why would there be an explosion with found treasure chest? Mary Green, I believe um, the timing was there was an explosion at the house about the risks that the searchers were bringing. And then a few hours later, the it was called off. Or if someone believed it was called off, it was announced that the treasure chest had been found. Um, Joanne says, Wyoming was owned by Napoleon. He sold it to fund war for $18 a square inch. Shiloh is the doppelhanger ganger of Everett Somerville Brown, Louisiana purchase. Okay. Well, Joanna, thank you for that super chat. Is that Australia? A, uh, it came from another country. I wonder if A is Australia. Um, I don't know interesting theory but there's a lot there i'm gonna have to go back and reread all that later because wow that is interesting stuff so yeah so um yeah those of you that don't know houses right now are going for about 10 percent over asking or what they list it for and you usually have about 20 offers within the first two days of any house mike and i between saving good credit veteran, all of that. It came together. It was bumpy. We didn't talk about it a lot because every day it was like, is this going to happen? Oh, here we go. Hold on. Super Green chat. Runs. Waiting for four cents ride to reopen. Step up. Tell me who. Okay. 3D Bronze has his own um, treasure hunt called, tell the first one was tell me where, this one's tell me who. I see a theme here. And um, yeah, will the Force Fund ride reopen? In my opinion, there's no chance it's reopening. If we get, we will get the location eventually. I believe just because so much is out there, too many people know, but um, I don't believe it'll be by Jack. I believe it will get confirmed eventually. And it's through a lot of hard work that a lot of people are doing right now. I think people are taking it in different ways. We have some people that are going, looking at slip ups, looking at what Jack has told us. Some people are going, trying to find in different ways what Jack has said or who else, what is he, what can we get from him that he didn't mean and he's slipping up himself. I absolutely believe he has slipped up. Okay, Lucky Digger said, Dale said that Forrest Ben told him that the chest was found in the AM but he wasn't home and didn't get out until that night. Yeah, Lucky, that wasn't the story when it originally came out. He said it was in the afternoon. He has now said it's in the morning. I did notice that, Lucky, which is interesting that story changed. Um, we asked, there's a couple different um, YouTube videos where he was asked that specifically. Did, were you told in the morning or the afternoon? And he said he couldn't remember. 
Um, and now he's saying it was in the morning. I find that interesting. Um, but someone asked me, how could Cynthia be your source and then say she was glad that Shiloh was on calling it BS? I think we're going to know a lot in about 10 days. Just uh, anyone that is even thinking about not ordering Dan Barbarossa's book, please do, is all I will say. And if you don't, me and Capro are going to review it. So we'll go over it with you. If you right. can. There's a couple. And go ahead. 3D Bronze. That's so easy. Capro and Cal can solve it. And I have not <laughs> read it yet. 3D Bronze, full disclosure, because we've been busy. I'll try and get it and read it this weekend. This week, I mean. No, and I think for the searchers that are keeping up on stuff, like all of you are, I think that we are um, not going to see a lot of detail. Um, there might be a few little things. Um, <laughs> I'm going to totally allow that through Lucky because I believe that's the case. Um, I didn't say it. Look at Lucky's comment, everybody. Lucky Digger in the chat. Um, I believe a lot will just become clear and we have to go with, there's a lot of motives right now. There's a lot of stuff happening and I don't find anybody, I don't think anybody sucks except for who's Shiloh said sucks. <laughs> the people that are in this are good people. They're trying to find their own way of closure. If I don't want the family harmed by this, I don't want them sued again over breaking news that we give out. If stuff comes out and that exposes the family, they may say something different. Once I say something, I'm not going to take something back when I know it's the truth. My priority is to the community. And I have said that. Um, I will disclose something. I, I don't, I'll disclose something. There was a random question asked by Amy of Dale. Breaking news. <laughs> Kay Bro's gonna disclose something, everybody. Uh, it was a question I asked Mike the previous day, and I'm not going to say why. If you were asked if you would sign a non-disclosure and you and only you could know the final location, would you? But you I asked you that, it, right? and you cannot change With us doing the show we do, I don't know how we could do that. I mean, yeah, that's a rough one. Do I want to know? Yeah, but to, to have it and not be able to tell anybody, I don't know if I could do that which means that I wouldn't sign it. You know, I wouldn't do it to begin with because that's what we do is try and give people the information. So, well, and that was Dan's, um, Dan Barbarossi's position. He is going to be putting things out for his readers. So he couldn't not, he couldn't agree to them. And that's my position as hard as it is. And as much as I want to know, if I was presented with that question and I'm not saying I have been, I'm just saying if I would have to say no because my priority is to share and I won't shut down this channel. I won't shut down this channel. I'm holding to that. Um, I don't think we're doing anything but discussing what we have before us. I won't get into, there is so much, we're like a duck right now. We see a duck just swimming through the water and underneath they're doing this. <clears throat> There's so much happening in the background. It's, it's crazy what's happening in the background. And I don't, I'm not referencing in any way Bad Greg or Greg Sucks show and all that. That's just like invented drama. And he says it's a show. I'm not talking about any of that. There's a lot of that to look at. There's no, I'm talking about real content between Dale surfacing, Shiloh surfacing, all of the channels discussing the content pieces, Jack, what he's doing, wade through the drama stuff because it's not even worth it. Looking at what actually is going on is fascinating. And the stuff happening behind the scenes is even more fascinating. We're going to get there. There's no question we're going to get there. I want to get there as honest. I might be wrong, but I wasn't lying. I presented what I had at the time. I strongly believe not everybody in this is going with that same angle. They either angle, they're either coached, they're either chewed out, they're something is happening to them. Or misremembering that they, for some reason. They are losing their way. And I, at the end of this, I'm going to say, maybe I was wrong, but at least I was honest through it all. And I, 
and disappointed and uh, I've just learned a lot about people, even the good people have not, they, they've maybe lost that. And maybe if their priority is, I have to say something was not the case when it was, to get closer to the truth of finding the final location, they're willing to do that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, a super chat from Ben Napple with the $4.99 says, Jack emailed me, he wouldn't sell the solution even with an NDA. And I think he's told multiple people that, at least the, um, at least that he will not, not sell the solution. So it sounds like it's not going to come from Jack. The question is, will it come from somebody else at some point? Or will details surrounding the solution come out? Here's one. Everybody should ask. Did Jack have a search partner, family member, friend, anyone on any of his uh, boots on the ground, recons, vacations to Wyoming from 2018 to 2020? There's a question to ask him. And would they know? Interesting. Jack, are you watching? Are you out there? Yeah, who's going to jump in chat next? I think too many people know at this point. I don't believe only Jack knows. I believe there are others that could be involved, whatever that means, if you will. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think there's, uh, no, there's different definitions of good and bad. And I don't want to judge anybody. I just know when somebody goes on and says that I'm not telling the truth and flat out says something opposite, when I've confirmed with them, it's okay to put it out with their name. I'm, I'm disappointed. That's all. And that's how I've presented it to some people. I didn't see it coming. And some people, I really didn't see it coming. And I'm just at the point where I really didn't see it coming. Am I disappointed? Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. Is it earth shattering? No, we're trying to find where we thought a treasure chest was. This won't make me lose my beautiful home that Chase Opoly built. It won't you know, affect my kids, my life, but I'm just disappointed. Mike is a veteran. He is, Brett. Don't, does that make you like him even more? He is a veteran. He fought for our country. Uh, what men consider a family meeting, women might consider an intervention. It gets down to semantics. Tony Rusi, that is a very, very, um, that's what I was thinking. I actually used the word semantics in my PowerPoint. I changed it a couple of times. Um, I, um, if Dale said there was family tension and a discussion, well, the only way you discuss something is meeting where you're sitting in front of somebody. So I think we're getting down to semantics. So I think Dale confirmed it enough with family tension and discussion, I think was his words. Cynthia's words were family meeting. I heard family intervention, but it could have been meeting. However you wanna frame it, there was a discussion. Um, and I think all that'll be confirmed soon, so yeah. What ship did you serve on, Brett asks? I didn't know this. The USS Constellation, everybody, right there. That's the ship. Oh. That was out of uh, San Diego. I actually wrote it. Uh, it was in SLEP uh, in Philadelphia. And then we went all the way around the tip of Southern uh, South America over to uh, San Diego. So got to see Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands. Uh, you know, I have been to Puerto Rico. That's true. Hashtag no conspiracy theory. Well, for a couple hours anyway. Um, Trinidad and Tobago went down there, that fun stuff. Yeah, so really we're right on the cusp of what I call our next tidal wave. We're gonna have a tidal wave of information in the next couple of weeks between 48 hours. I think that's gonna be more something negative, something really high level. I don't think it'll be, um, if there's no PowerPoint, there is no meaning, exactly. Um, I think Dan Barbarossi's book is gonna confirm a lot. I think the interviews he's gonna do with some good questions from all of you are gonna be helpful. I believe we will be seeing more um, sooner rather than later. I don't know if we're gonna actually get the solution for a little bit. I think the solution and or location is within a year. And I personally don't think it's going to be from Jack. I think Jack's dug in. Jack's doing whatever he wants to do. Um, but I think in general, 
I think we have a lot more in store for us. So those of you that have been hanging on through the last 10 months, um, I think it's I think it's going to pay off or 11 months. I think it's going to pay off. Um, so you guys didn't answer me though. Do you guys want to see a weekend update? Put yes, weekend update or weekend update, yes. Um, or are you guys good? I don't want to put in the time if you guys don't think it's valuable. But I do think there's some shows that are doing some really good content that might be getting lost in the mix. Um, no solution will come, in my opinion, Steve. Not from Jack, but I think people talk. You should know that more than anybody, Steve. <laughs> Uh, Capro, if Forrest had come to you and Mike and asked you to retrieve the treasure and say you found it for the safety of his family and everything he feared, would you have? Yeah, I would have. Yeah, as long as he was open about it and we were able to, to explain everything, but yeah, I would. Now, the question is, uh, do we get to keep it or do we give it back to Forrest Fed? Uh, either way, I would have done it either way, but uh, yeah, I would have done it. Another super um, chat. What do you think, Joe? Oh, I would favorite. absolutely not have because I would have advised him if you get me involved at all. There's entire channels about my hair and makeup. There's no way. Mike, you could have because you stay relatively even married to me out of the controversy. There would be, I would be saying to Forrest, no, pick someone else. So I don't even think it's possible that your scenario would um, come to fruition. But if it did, as long as it was, hey, I had a trusted friend go pick it up, K-Pro Cal, they went and picked it up. We got to film it. We got to put it on the YouTube. Yeah. To document the whole thing. Exactly. Now, if he said, here's the solution, say that you found it or just keep it secret. Oh, I would really have. Unfortunately, I think we know with a couple of searchers that already have secret audios of me, I'm not good at keeping a secret, even if I try. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I could keep keep that. So I might have told Forrest. I'd probably tell Forrest I'm not the best at secret keeping, even if I try to, you know, people unfortunately record and do nasty legal stuff. Um, so I don't know. I don't know is the answer to that. I would try to help Forrest. But I would probably ask him, um, hey, here's somebody else that I know. And he, he would be like, yeah. Uh, another super chat from Joanne. She says, old maps, Wyoming is in Texas along with Santa Fe. That's interesting. I just looked it up, Joanne, what you said. And it looks like there is no Wyoming, Texas now. But back in the day, there was a Wyoming, Texas. So I don't know if you're trying to say when um, – or said me and Jack have agreed to say Wyoming. Maybe it was in Texas all along, but then that means he's lying. And that's the problem. I have no problem with how if Forrest then had it retrieved. It's just, you can't, I don't think you should lie about it. Just be honest with what he needed to do either to protect himself or his family or prevent deaths or whatever his reason was. He just shouldn't, shouldn't lie about it. And I don't know. I'm not saying he lied about it. I'm just saying a lot of these conspiracy theories means that he was not truthful and hopefully he wouldn't have, uh, he wouldn't have done that. Well, let's ask the question. Texas James asked, question for the room, do you think Jack knows the solution? I do. And that means the nine clues in the poem, right? Um, sure. I think if you know the final location, you can back engineer anything. So I believe he knows the nine clues. I believe he knows the final location. That's me. I believe he knows both. I believe he owns the treasure chest. I believe... Some people are saying no. That's yeah, a lot of people. As I agree. Yep. Not likely, probably. Uh, well, the experiment. Conspiracy theories from Penny Bones. <laughs> Jack is not lying. Neither did Forrest. Jack knows some of the clues, not all. Yeah, could he have been nudged at the end for a variety of reasons related to illness, explosion, etc.? I believe. Yeah, I believe it's possible. Do I believe it's probable? I don't know. This is such a weird ending. And the biggest question that I have is Jack was silent for so long and he's conversing with so many people and he's still to this day, like I get emails every day from searchers that he's still corresponding with. I don't think he corresponds with as many. I think once you kind of hit a shit list, he just kind of cuts you off, but then people just start new accounts and they become a new person, new person. I don't understand that if he wanted things to settle. He would keep silent. He doesn't want to keep silent. So he wants this, I hate to say drama. He, he seems to be by his actions, welcoming and encouraging 
these channels and more channels that are now coming back by his actions. But he says how much we all need to move on. He told me, I'm sorry that you have crazy friends. If those are the kinds of people, why are y'all hanging on? It's over. But then he tells people the reason that he doesn't want people to, um, he's not giving up the solution is we just want it handed to us and people should want to try to find it. And then he tells some people, oh, let me give you little breadcrumbs and hints. He, what he's saying doesn't make logical sense because he's contradicting himself. So there's something more to it. And if you add in the additional conspiracies of, here's one that I asked um, and I tagged Amy and I don't think she's back on Facebook yet. She said during her show, wasn't Jenny going to get an interview with Forrest to do like a six questions or something and then Forrest died? I don't know if she accidentally said Jenny and she met me or Jenny as well. If Jenny also had an interview scheduled, that's fascinating to me. That means he wanted to talk. He was ready. Something happened. He said, be patient, be patient, be patient. And then he's like, after the finale where he tried to figure out if Jack was there, then he was like, I, I need an interview. If he, but I have not confirmed that with Jenny or anybody. I don't know. Um, I could write Jenny, but I, I, if Jenny was also reached out to by Forrest to do an interview, I find that fascinating. So there you have it. This is for 3D Bronze. I wish you weren't a liar. Hey, that's a little loud. Hopefully they can hear it. Okay. I, I can hear that. I, I can't hear it loud, but I can hear it. Okay. Well, what I think is going on is one, there's a Zoom update. Two, maybe you got to use a headset. I don't know, but we'll definitely test it before next show. We'll get it figured out, everybody. Uh, ben says, I think there's something left at the site. Uh, Jack has been clear. He left nothing. I do not believe. Yeah, I... I do not believe he did, and I don't believe Forrest did. Um, but when Shiloh answered, like, why isn't Jack telling, or why isn't the final location out? He said, sometimes those things shouldn't be shared. That leads me to believe, and I've always believed it, Shiloh knows. So we have, it was in the park is why must listen good. Jack can't talk, it was in the park. Um, Department of Interior Land. Now, and I firmly believe Department of Interior Land. So, it, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. Never me emailed him on principle. Yeah, and I know some people have said that as well. Um, yeah. Yes, Dark, I will after this. I've been unpacking every, <laughs> I will, oh, let's see, 3D bronze. It, I can't unmoderate them. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, you should call 8675309. I know enough about music. I know what that is. I was going to ask you, do you know what that's from? Uh, yes, I do. So <laughs> anyway, it's no, so so this week is going to be, we're going to have a show on Thursday on another hunt uh, called Cracked. Um, it's for you, I don't know, Man, code breaker look, chart. I show it, but it's in a box somewhere. It's about 17,000 in Bitcoin. And I'll talk about this Thursday, but the very, very interesting thing about having Bitcoin as a treasure is it fluctuates every day, it goes up, goes down. But in the history of Bitcoin, it's gone nothing but up over you know the years. So that's an interesting one. And we'll have uh, that creator on on Thursday. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you thumbs up, make sure you tune in. Yeah, I don't know, I don't anymore. And you know how I felt about my solve. That's what Dave said. I don't know about what, um, no excuses, Dark. I know I'm getting, I'm getting, I actually looked up uh, what I want to share for Wednesday. Um, but it might be actually, it might get you a copyright infringement. Forrest actually sent me a video to watch, um, when I was kind of, uh, we were kind of having a tense moment and he's like, on a lighter note, I want what? you to, oh, well, that's what I'm going to share on Wednesday. You have to watch the oh, show on Wednesday Greg's, Greg's channel. on Greg's channel. Okay. Yeah. Dark, wants dark. to hear my solve Jay master says gtc does over on his channel that's what he's doing we're all thor's children yeah okay well we're over time we have not had dinner i'm ready to go and yeah uh brian bobbleman cracked yeah so for you guys that love the other rides in the amusement park mike has been working hard there's a couple of new or existing hunts out there and the originators want to come on and say hello i will do the weekend update um, I need to connect with Dark 
uh, GTC as well, because um, I want a little bit of help because there's so many out there. So maybe we'll do just a 10 minute, not even live, and I'll just review everything and get it out for you guys. So Did there you, you have your book, Brian. I still I haven't uh, read it all yet. We've been so busy with the move, but I want to get back to it. The other one I want to do a show on is the Intente Cordial, which is the one in the UK and France. Nobody knows about that. So uh, upcoming shows, make sure you subscribe and tune in. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for the super chats, everybody. And I do want to say I got a notification of something at our UPS store. And I, I always track it to see where it came from. And it came from Santa Fe. And I was so excited. Oh, uh, lucky. Uh, pretty sure that was you. It was the hunt for history. It got returned. Remember you said new address, shoot me your new address. It returned. It got returned. So I will resend it out to you. That is the lucky winner of the hunt for history that was, um, set, uh, that was donated by Atlantic coast. So that is awesome. But yeah, I got you know it. How excited I get when there's a package from Santa Fe, I am still holding on hope that I will get it one day. And I saw it and I was like, yeah. And then it said, no, it's returned. And I was like, oh, and Mike knew what it was. I was so excited and I'm never going to get, I want the frog. Give me the frog. I want the frog. You're muted. You're muted, honey. Honey, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is GTC's new channel. The new GTC, share your forest fence, all theories. Go subscribe. But when you go with him on Wednesdays, it's going to be the dark channel, right? D-A-R-C. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I want to make sure I got it right. But if anybody wants to go over to, um, forest fence, all theories, there you go. GTC on YouTube. Yeah, and the reason that I understand that he did two different channels is Dark is going to go into other things. They might he might talk sometimes aliens, this, that, the other. It's not just only um, Forrest Fenn. The GTC is going to be Forrest Fenn. And why didn't he just start his own his old channel back up? Yeah, he hard deleted it. Never do that. Hotel California, Greg, good Greg, is back in the house. It's awesome. Joanne says super chat. Listen good is about the 40 second parallel and its speed of sound in my opinion. Joanne? We all got our opinions. What are you doing, Michael? You're oh, muted there. 3D bronze on YouTube. 3D bronze. Oh, son of a... Oh, no, I'm not muted. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Hello? You can't yes. Me? Yes. For God's sakes. Yes, I can hear you. Hi, Mario. Ooh, that was kind of loud. All right, 3D Bronze on YouTube. Tell me who. He's got two videos up for clues to tell me who. Right. Yeah, and Moisture I says, Dark, your channel is perfect combination of Batman and Christopher Robin. That's exactly it. Dark and GTC. I don't know which one's which yet, but yeah. Um, Carrie Galloway, imagine K-Pro getting gifted Sitting Bull's Peace Mime. <laughs> From your lips to God dears, baby. Uh, no, I know that that's not the case. That'd be a little crazy, wouldn't it? Yeah, and you know what? Maybe we, um, Dark, maybe we could do a show on my last meeting with Forrest in July. I would love to show, I, I have, but not like as a whole little segment, um, the gifts that he gave both of the kids and he signed and he did and their whole little talk and all of that. Um, that was July 6th, July 6th, 2020. Um, so anyway, that's one. This Saturday night on Dark, we will be talking travel amongst other things. Time travel? What? Oh, time mm -hmm. travel? Alternate realities and dimensions? Okay. What is going on? I'd start to smoke. It's not a crack. Oh, because of Sydney Bulls piece by the I was like, wait, Holly's doing drugs. What's going on? Holly, she, she doesn't see the type. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah. All right, everybody. I think we got to wrap it up because I need to get dinner. I got to get this command center figured out. I got to update Zoom. We got a million things to do. Uh, but we will be live Thursday. So make sure you check it out. K Pro will be on Dark's channel on Wednesday. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hillary did ask, and she just asked again, and I want to answer her. What was the news lawsuit about? The new lawsuit, the only legal um, part in the complaint was fraud. and uh, But it didn't go into what the fraud was. It was a lawsuit against Zoe San Lazaro's, William Sather, Collected Works, and Jack for $10 million 
um, contents of the chest, uh, San Lazaro, the ruins that they would be given ownership to, um, and they were asking in a unique circumstance to have um, a civil case have appointed kind of for free an attorney. And there were three litigants. Uh, Kyle Sandu is probably the one that I have heard of. I hadn't heard of the other two names before. Um, the judge within two days um, denied it, but has given them um, 14 days, I think, 21 days, uh, 21 days to amend. Um, otherwise it'll be dismissed and then they cannot refile. Um, so yeah, it's a little um, odd that basically they're suing and they want to have uh, a lawyer appointed um, by, I guess, the Fenn estate. I'm not sure who. The only thing I would say is Erkstein heard, uh, learned this the hard way. He has almost a $200,000 bill. Um, when you litigate, there's a risk. It's not just you go to court and see if you can get it. When it doesn't have any merit and the other side has to hire, he's, he's learned a hard lesson. So I'm not saying that if somebody wants to sue and they think they have merit to, to do it, but you could have a really hard lesson of, I mean, you won't have a house that Chase Opoly built with that kind of bill. <laughs> That's Sorry. true. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are interested in any of the lawsuits, right there is the Fint of Riches. Go to that forum and somebody always posts a link. And it's public domain, everybody. And but holy, um, Holy, it's it is it's actually 170 pages from what I understand, but there's only about 10, 15 pages of the complaint. And then they they actually go into Goofy Old Guy and Del Mitzel's side and they put a bunch of amendments or uh, attachments, supporting attachments, and they put in different websites and things as attachments. The actual complaint is only about 10 pages. Um, yeah. So there you have it. There it is. I want to say thank you to this entire search community, all of you, even the crazy ones like me and like you, but even the crazier ones. This was a really, really big week for us. And it's because of all of you that we came together. Mike had that coin in his pocket when we got married because that's what happens when a weird set of events kind of came together. So I just wanted to thank everybody um for everything that they have been as a community to us and so uh, let's kind of keep going because you know what like i told forrest if we ever know the location that's where mike and i were going to get married we can't get married there but we will have a meetup we will have some fun oh we'll Something. go if it ever comes yeah. out yeah for sure. yeah um did okay everybody hold on did say earlier that you owned her some coke as well <laughs> okay okay bye everybody we're going to get dinner all right, everybody, we'll see you Thursday.